Another completely new brawl. Season 6 spoilers. Today on Guns of Boom News. Hi, Stannis here, community manager for Guns of Boom, and welcome to the second edition of Guns of Boom News, the most bombastic and relevant news outlet yet. Today we're talking about our new Brawl Zone control, our Guns of Boom creator program, the war on cheaters, and the season 6 spoilers. As you know, last week we introduced a new Brawl Interception, where you had to fight for the control of the Energy Cube. This week we're bringing you the second brand new Brawl in a row, two weeks, and the last Brawl in Season 5 Zone Control. The Zone Control Brawl is played on Paradise Island, Mexico Village and Asia Waterfront. By the way, which is your favorite map between these three? I'll ask again in the comments, you can just reply down below. Just like control points and King of the Hill, you will need to capture control points on the map. But they will appear and disappear in different places, so you will have to think tactically and change your location quickly. The first point becomes available 10 seconds after the beginning of the match. And once you capture it, you start receiving 10 points per second. Then a new point will open in a different place on the map, but only once the previous one has disappeared, with the last control point opening right in the center of the map. Eliminations and assists will give you points, but capturing and holding on to as many control points as possible is going to be the key to victory in this new brawl. And as usual, the brawl does not affect your stats, so you can just have fun. Now on to some exciting news for our Guns of Boom creators. First of all, let me introduce the Guns of Boom creator program to you. It is a program aimed at supporting creativity. So, what do we actually do? We help bloggers and streamers develop their channels, increase their audiences and become more popular throughout our big community. Our creators are the first to get information about new updates and events, receive in-game items for testing and raffles, and get promoted through our official channels. During the summer we have considered more than 600 applications, and now we have 17 really cool partners who stream, make videos and create all sorts of activities in the Guns of Boom community. We have Format, an amazing streamer and esports analyst who also organizes awesome community tournaments. For example, a free-for-all tournament with only knives allowed. We have Gunrek Singh and Jules who provide us with all sorts of theories and great let's plays. And Gentrix for those of you who want to see one of the top esports athletes doing what he can do best – landing headshots. And many, many more. We will be telling you about each one of them on our social media. You can check them and their content out on our website – partners.gunsofboom.com. And if you are a creator yourself and you make Guns of Boom content, send us your application on the website. The community needs to know its heroes. Now on to the next very important topic. The war on hacking is ongoing, and every day we improve our methods of eliminating unfair play. Since we started the war on cheaters, we've permanently banned more than 30,000 cheaters in the game. There are different cheats that we are proactively blocking, and our team is constantly working on improving protections and catching abusers off guard. We roll out unexpected updates on a regular basis that improve abuser tracking. And the devs are also working on the game's code, making it way harder to crack. And the in-game reports, along with detailed evidence that players sent to the support team, give us a lot of useful data on potential abusers. We do not ban players permanently based only on this information, though, because there are always players who receive the reports just for playing too well. Another piece of good news, we've partnered up with an ally in this war who is an experienced developer of anti-cheat solutions for big online games. And we have also begun the process of identifying people who develop the cheats and taking them to court IRL. There is already a lawsuit filed against seven 
Guns of Boom cheat developers who have harmed the game a lot with their cheat software. We will keep you informed as we understand how important this issue is to everyone who plays and loves the game. Now I'm sure you've been waiting for, or maybe just skipped ahead to, some Season 6 spoilers. Season 6 is right around the corner, so how about we talk about some of the things, some of the really cool things that are going to be there. First of all, Career Marathon. Career Marathon is a daily reward of Battle Career experience. It can really help you level up and get all of the Battle Career ranks you want. Moving on to Season Pass. It allows you to buy all of the contracts for the entire season and with a very, very big discount. And I mean all of them. It means all of the Brawl contracts with additional challenges for every Brawl, the Elite Battle Career contract, which includes access to Elite ranks and Elite rewards, and the Premium Major challenges. To top it all off, you will get extra career experience from both the Marathon and regular battles. Double the amount. Now to give you a hint of what's to come in Season 6, here's a demonstration by my good friend. Yeah! What can I say? He rocks. I'm your newscaster and if you enjoyed the news, drop a like, drop it like it's hot. Subscribe and ring the notification bell to see all of our videos first. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comments and maybe you would like to check out one of these videos. Is one of them slightly bigger? I'm not sure. Well, Stannis out.